Hello and welcome to Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you a great new feature introduced in the latest update to Photoshop Creative Cloud. Its name is Generator. This is a brand new technology in Photoshop CC version 14.1, helping exporting images from Photoshop documents for different devices. It is great for processing web design mockups created in Photoshop and generating all the image assets needed from them. So how to set up first of all? You can go to Photoshop Preferences or if you are on PC it's under Edit Preferences and then choose Plugins and here you have to first of all turn on the generator. This is a plugin so it has to be enabled to be able to use this feature. Once that's turned on, then you have to do an option for each of the Photoshop documents where you want to use this feature. So you have to go to the file menu and choose generate and image assets. Once it's selected, then the plugin is active for this specific Photoshop document. So remember, it's like a sticky feature. So uh, unless you turn it off, it will always be turned on whenever you open the Photoshop file. So basically what's going to happen is that the Photoshop document will automatically save files next to your Photoshop document when this feature is turned on based on the file naming structure in your layers panel. So as you can see I have a header uh, group layer group and I have dot JPEG extension behind it so if we go to bridge we see that there is automatically created a home assets folder where we have already a couple of files we have a header JPEG a background PNG and an iMac JPEG so how all of these are generated let's just go back to my document and you can see that these are based on layer names that I uh, use here in this document so if I open the header I can see that these are the elements in the header and that's saved as a JPEG automatically if I get rid of this here so I just delete the extension and go back to bridge that file will be also deleted now what if I need this iMac image instead of a JPEG into saved into a PNG file because I need the transparency I just need to find it and using the move tool I can hold down command or control and click on that element to quickly find it in my uh, layer structure and here all I need to do is just change the extension to PNG and once I do that it will be automatically saved as a PNG file with transparency as well we can try that by drag and dropping it back to my Photoshop document you can see it's a nice PNG file saved now we have a lot of options for PNGs uh, we can also uh, specify the bit depth by adding a number behind the PNG so I can add 8, 24 or 32 and these will all define the PNG's uh, bit depth the file which is going to be saved out but we can also create several versions so for example if we want to save a PNG let's just say 24 bit and we also want to save a, P a JPEG file I can also type in iMac.jpg uh, like that so now if I go back to uh, bridge I will see two versions of the same file so iMac.jpg and the PNG version there's also other things we can do we can also uh, customize the size of a file saved so for example if I want the JPEG to be saved in a higher uh, size or bigger size I can add the percentage sign and, and a number before the file name so I can type in let's just say 200% iMac.jpg once I go back to bridge we can see that the JPEG file is twice the size of the PNG version so you can see 670 and that one is only 335 but in review mode we can also see the difference in size on these two so that's a great feature um, and you can really go crazy with your file naming or layer naming uh, so you can create as many versions as you want you can specify even the compression on JPEG files in the file naming or layer naming so 
from 1 to 10, on a scale to 1 to 10, you can specify the percentage of the compression of the JPEG file. So let me just delete uh, the PNG version and just con concentrate on the original uh, JPEG. And for example, if I set 1, and then I do another one, iMac2.jpg, and I type in 10, then we will have one version with a very low compression and another one with the highest uh, quality and the lowest compression. So if we go back, we can see that this is the low uh, quality but very high compression version, and this is the high quality, low compression version. So that's again a great way uh, to save different versions of the same uh, layer or layer structure. It's good to know that you can save layers uh, or specify layers, uh, names for layers, uh, layer groups as well, or smart objects. So there's a, a lot of options here that you can uh, set up for the generator to create image assets automatically. Saving the files is handled automatically by generator and any changes to la the layers will be automatically updated in their respective assets. So once generator is enabled, the assets folder should always be in sync with the parent file. If the assets folder or the parent file is moved, then generator will create a new assets folder. So let's just see how this works. So the life changes. I'm going to use it on this button here. I'm going to create a um, file from this. So I'm going to call it responsive icon. Actually, let's just see it's uh, the whole layer group. If I turn that off, yeah, it has the text as well together. So I only need the icon saved out. And I'm going to call that uh, responsive responsive underscore icon um, and I can also call it um, over and save it as a PNG so that should already be generated that's it and I need another version where it's gray so when it's not selected so for that I'm just going to create a duplicate version and I'm going to call this uh, normal or just simply without the over and I just need to change the color of this shape to gray I do that quickly by pressing alt backspace once I selected the color by filling in the fill, uh, filling in the shape with this uh, color and now I don't have to save anything I just go back to bridge and we already have these two versions now the great thing is that if I make any changes to the icons so I for example select the, the arrows and I use free transform and I turn it around and maybe set it the other way something like that now if I go back to my assets folder everything is automatically updated or what if I change my mind and I change the shape color so I'm going to set it to maybe blue then I go back again and it's automatically updated in the assets folder. So you can see how much time you can save, especially if you work in user interface design or web design with this new feature called generator.